Welcome to From Gambia Channel. Welcome to From Gambia Channel. Subscribe for more news. Subscribe for more news. Who is General Suleiman Baji, the former commander of the Republican Guards at State House under former Gambian President Yaya Jama? The ongoing JANA Commission that is currently investigating the assets and financial dealings of the former Gambian President Yaya Jama. The name that appears to be mentioned frequently by all those testifying in the commission is General Baji. From Jama's personal security, investments, bank transactions and financial dealings etc. were handled by General Baji but how did he got so much influenced on Yaya Jama? That prompted one of the commission members to ask both Nuha W. Jama and Yankyo Bakali who were all soldiers and very close to the general to shed light on general's professionalism as a military leader but both officers declined with excuse that they knew little. It is the job of journalists to investigate the profile of General Baji and how he came into army and became so much feared by soldiers and people, professionalism and his influence on former president's day-to-day -day running of his numerous businesses' interest. This is exactly what Bayo News Network did by going to Fajra Barracks to inquire from a soldier known to me to give me directions to fellow soldiers who knew something about the former General Baji. But before disclosing the interview about the profile of the former general and how he joined the army and rose to the highest rank in the GNA and have so much influenced on JAMA, I would like to explain Bayo News Network's encounter with General Baji at state opening of parliament in May 2016. As you can clearly see in the top photograph the former state guards commander, the invisible and feared by the soldiers, Jama's most trusted soldier and Aaron Boy never liked to be photographed. It was the first state opening of the parliament in May 2016 when everybody sat including dignitaries at the National Assembly building waiting for the arrival of former President Jama. Then Jama's most trusted soldier General Salman Baji came and informed the Speaker of the House Abduli Bojang that Jama could not attend the opening because he had urgent mission to Kanilai village but have postponed the state opening till June 2016. As General Baji approached, several photojournalists including myself snapped him in which he was very angry and his men later gathered us at one place to inspect our digital cameras and deleted the photos of the general with strict warning never to snap him again. As an experienced photojournalist, I was able to quickly change the memory card to earlier one inside the camera and gave them the impression that I have not snapped him but he was one of the only senior military officers who disliked to be snapped. At Fajira Barracks, the welcome names of to five Gambia army channel. officers, which welcome included from Gambia officers, channel. were given Subscribe to me, and more I was news. able to contact Subscribe and for more them news. that the public want to know about General Baji and how he got his influence over Jama and whilst their identity will be kept in secret. Bayo News Network was reliably informed that Karatha Baji, Saul Baji, was born in Kismans region of Senegal and brought up in the town of Boyam in Phoney Kanzala district. He used to be called Karafa Baji but after his secondary education in late 1980s and during the army intake in the early 1990s he decided to use his cousin brother's secondary fourth certificate with results that was very good. But since his own result was very bad but was lucky to be selected into army with the certificate of Sulman Baji and since then he abandoned his original name of Karafa Baji for Sulman Baji. General Baji's promotion and recognition by Jam in the army came indirectly through the former CDS Lang Tom Bong's idea to Yaya Jama that in order to stop the numerous coup attempts he needed to surround himself with his tribe men. According to my sources, the former CDS Lieutenant General Lang Tom Bong Tamba who was involved in the 2006 coup whilst the former President Jame was in Mauritania on state visit was called by Lang T. Tamba and informed him of the coup. Jama quickly returned home and whilst the coup leader Cham fled but his colleagues were arrested and taken to court-martial for prosecution and five of the coup plotters were killed whilst others were jailed for life until 2015 when they were pardoned by Jama himself. The source said that Lang Tom Bong Tamba was by then deputy CDS a long time and he was all along aiming for the position of CDS but when he licked the 2006 coup to Jama, he was rewarded twice, 
First he got promotion to the post of CDS and later the president promoted him to LT. General first in the history of Gambia military. The former CDS Lieutenant General Lang Tom Bong Tamba became the most trusted and admired by Jama and in 2007. My source said CDS Tamba blackmailed President Jama by telling him that your security can be guaranteed if you surrounded yourself mostly by your tribe men Jola and also if they form majority in the army. From 1994 to 2006 apart from former CDS Babu Karajata, who is half Mandinka and half Jola, all other CDS Vincent Jada, Asinsar and Dracham, were not Jola tribe. Therefore if Jama gave Jola tribe to form majority in all security units then his presidency would save from those countless coup, my sources said. In 2009, President Jama discovered that Lang Tambong Tamba was in fact part of that 2006 coup and former CDS Tamba was sacked, arrested and prosecuted in the court-martial before he was sentenced to death commuted to life imprisonment until 2015 when he finally pardoned him. The source said the worst legacy that Lang Tom Bong Tam left in the military and in the mind of Jam A was his security can only be guaranteed when his tribe men formed majority in all security units in the country. According to my source President Jam issued a presidential indirectives in 2007 that 55% of every intake from army, police, immigration, NIA, prison. Deck and GFRS etc. shall be his tribe men and the second priority be given to the youths of phony districts. This has been the practice till 2016 when Yaya Jama's government collapsed. General Baji's Military Career According to my sources Saul Baji's prominent and recognition by the former president came in 2006 after the failed coup attempt by Kalmdra Cham. Salman Baji was academically very dull with little international military training but got promoted through the tribalism and nepotism practiced by the former President Jama. My source said after the sudden death of both Tumble Tamba and Musa Jama, former president's most trusted soldiers, he turned to Yankuba Baji, former Naya DG and Salman Baji who was promoted as Deputy State Guards Commander in 2008 and became Republican State Guards Commander in 2009 after the dismissal of the late Laman Sen who led the 2013 failed coup. President was increasingly became more and more paranoid and fear for the downfall of his regime and as a result he was using tribalism as a tool to perpetuate himself in power surrounded by sycophants and his tribe men. This was hidden to the civilians before but it was very open in all security units with officers got promotion not based on their academic, physical and experienced but based on their tribe affiliation. Also Jam embarked on dismissing, jailing or demoting officers from other tribes just to give chance to his own tribe men. My source said Jam A was very conscious about surnames and tribes in terms of offering employment and did not care one's qualification or experience in the job but instead one's loyalty to him to get a job. The same trend of tribalism continued from the security sector to the civil service with five surnames, Baji, Kali, Jam, Jarju and Bojang that are mostly favor and trusted for his security and handling of his financial dealings even whereas they don't have qualification or experience. He said Sulman Baji got promotion to LT. General in 2012, he became the most trusted officer of Yaya Jam he single-handedly decide who should be deplored in the state house or can lion who comes closer to the president. The source said when National Assembly members enacted a law and allowing the former president to engage in all kind of businesses, that was the time Jam assigned General Baji to be in charge of all of his 14 companies, Kanilai Group International, and controlled all the withdrawals from nearly 100 banks' account as commission revealed. The source revealed that in the Gambia the highest army rank is lieutenant general but the rank of general is not yet available in the armed forces. The motive of the nickname General Baji is because he involved all general works or transactions of President Jam. Jen Baji, Yankuba Baji, Muhammad Base and Amadou Samba controlled 90% of all his decision before the downfall of Jam's government, according to the source. In conclusion, 
The source said General Baji was not a professional soldier, dull academically but was very lucky because he was admired by Jamib but he avoid public, talk less and use intimidation against fellow soldiers and civilians when running errands of Jamib. He can do anything bad just to please Yaya Jama and that's why they all went on exile to Equatorial Guinea. Asked whether Sulman Baji also involved in the killing and torture of Jam adversaries but said he cannot tell that but all the junglers or killers of former president are answerable directly to Jam or General Baji and Yankuba Baji. According to those testifying welcome to from the Gambia China Channel, Commission, welcome General to from Gambia Channel, on a subscribe for from more the news, Central Bank by merely subscribe for more the news, governor with a short note without letter but only the signature of the receiver. He can withdraw money from Vision 2016 accounts even when there was no money but collected from the consolidated accounts of the central bank with the promise to be refunded but never. Bayo News Network had interview with a NI officer who shed light on former DG of NI Ayankuba Baji, Deputy Mr. Luis Gomez and Sir Jeng Director of Operations on how they performed and their influence at the defunct NI and this will come on our Monday posting. Keep following.